here on the stage tonight, but the truth is I do not deserve this award. It saddens me that simply being a Muslim who does not hate Israel is considered award-worthy in this day and age. I shouldn't be called brave just because I wrote an article urging Muslims to denounce Palestinian terrorism after a 13-year-old Israeli girl was murdered in her bed. Anybody of any background should be appalled by this. It shouldn't have to be said. But unfortunately, anti-Semitism is a huge problem in the Muslim community, fueled by anti-Israel propaganda. I and other Muslim Zionists are working to change attitudes in the Muslim community by fighting propaganda with truth, lies with reason. Even though my dad's side of the family is Jewish, I didn't hear much about Israel until I got to college. When I was an undergrad, I bought into the narrative about Israel that is so prevalent on college campuses. I used to hate Israel. College campuses these days are hotbeds of anti-Semitism under the guise of anti-Zionism. I believed their hateful lies. Israel was an apartheid state. Israel was Nazi Germany 2.0. Zionism was racism, and Israel had no right to exist. But then I met Zionist Jews. Then I met Israelis. I started to learn about Israel. Once I learned the truth, I became a vocal Zionist. I wasn't going to stand by and watch my Jewish friends suffer at the hands of their anti-Israel peers. I couldn't sit back while my fellow, fellow Muslims tried to justify terrorism against Israelis. I just returned from Israel on Saturday, my first time, after... <laughs> after going for 10 days with a Jewish LGBT group called A Wider Bridge. It was my first time in the Jewish state, and it, being there made me even more committed to fighting for Israel's right to exist. I toured, the <laughs> I toured the Holocaust Museum in Jerusalem, and I cried like I have never cried before. I met new Ethiopian immigrants at the Absorption Center in Sfat. I had lunch with a Druze woman in the Golan Heights. I put a note in the Western Wall. I prayed on the Temple Mount. I toured the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. I saw the beautiful Baha'i Gardens in Haifa. I marched in the Tel Aviv Pride Parade. I saw the Jewish state flourish around me, defiant in the face of hatred. I met Holocaust survivors and grandchildren of Holocaust survivors. I met Muslims and Christians and peoples of all colors and faiths living side by side. I even got to try that delicious Israeli chocolate spread that everyone raves about. I had a Palestinian tour guide for some of my trip. He told us that he wished he could bring a bus of Palestinian children to the beaches of Yaffa and have them feel the hands of little Israeli boys and girls and realize their hands felt the same. But when we visited a refugee camp in Ramallah, the children were, as he said, beautiful and kind, yet there were pictures and propaganda praising terrorists hanging up all around them on the walls. How can those children keep that innocence if what they are seeing around them every day tells them Israelis are their enemy and that terrorism is honorable? However, I also met with a Palestinian nonviolence group called Zamam fighting extremism in their society, which gives me hope that perhaps those children can grow up with different role models. You know, just last night, I was asked to stop being so vocal about controversial issues. They thought talking publicly about issues in the Muslim community made Muslims look bad, but I will not stop. If there are problems in our community, we should fix them, not sweep them under the rug. If we want a better image for our community, then we must address the issues head on. It doesn't matter if people would rather only hear nice things. It is better to offend with the truth than to stay silent. I am honored and thankful to Amet to receive this award. I am happy I can deliver my message to you. Today I stand before you to, stay, to say, keep fighting. There is a disease called anti-Semitism infecting liberals and conservatives alike. We must stand by Israel and all the world's Jewish people. I am not through with my fight. No, I am just getting started. Thank you.